Now there's another question, it's very important, the idea of the mixed diet. One that contains carbs, one that contains fat, one that contains protein. Now, saturated fat has taken it on the chin for the last 50 years as the culprit in heart disease, leading to cholesterol deposits, uh, bad circulation, whatever. Saturated fat has taken the heat for that. But it is the combination. Saturated fat by itself is not a problem. It's when you consume saturated fat with carbohydrates that it becomes a problem. Because the carbohydrates ultimately determine where these food calories go, including the saturated fats. Now, this is the, the most important point, again, that you've got to keep in mind, is that food can either be burned for energy or stored in body fat. That's it. That's the options. Very important. And the rubric to look at this is called the metabolic control of food intake. Now, food that is stored is no longer available to be burned. It gets locked away into storage. And then the blood empties of fuel, and that sends a feeding signal to the brain, and you, the animal, yes, you are an animal, will follow your biological drives which are now telling you to eat. And you'll be hungry, and you'll say, I'm hungry. I should be able to eat when I'm hungry. It's just not true. Hunger is not a good measure of what's going on with the food storage or food burning. In fact, it's a lousy measure. This is where people get in trouble. So the saturated fat, which you should be eating, which is good for you, should not be consumed along with carbohydrate. That was the death blow in the cardiovascular disease situation. Saturated fat is fine, as long as you don't have it with carbohydrate, because the carbohydrate dictates what happens with these different enzymes that I was talking about in an earlier video. The carbohydrate will turn on the enzymes that push food into storage and away from burning. That's the critical point. Push it away from storage, push it into storage, and push it away from burning. So this is how you control these things, and you control it by diet. Now there's a guy out there who's very, very popular who's arguing about getting himself into nutritional ketosis. And his he's one of the, he's in the camp of calories don't count. He's lost a whole bunch of weight. He started out at uh, 306 pounds, and now he's down to 250. And he's just he he's shrunk and he's kept a lot of fat on his body, lost a lot of muscle, and he thinks this is because he was in ketosis. It's not. The ketosis helped him finally in his life to reduce his caloric intake. It is the reduction in calories that caused him to lose weight. He'll never admit to that. So these are the problems you run to when you look at these false prophets who really don't know what they're talking about. Okay, I'm Dr. Greg Ellis.